One of the things that usually annoys me whenever I start a new save file in The Sims 4 is making my Sims and going into this world where I already know all of the characters. It's going to be the exact same situation as my previous family had to experience in The Sims 4, which is why I'm such a big fan of Sims save files in The Sims 4. You've probably heard of the big ones like Little Simsy save file, uh, Deligracy's new crest build, Simlacy save file. I also have a couple of save files. I'm still working on one at the minute, but I came across one recently that really, really intrigued me and also also just piqued my law interest so much that I wanted to share it with you. If you play with a different save file in your game when you start off with a new family, it can completely change your experience during that game. I'm excited to share this one with you. This one's called the 15 years later save file by randomchick32 on Tumblr and it piqued my interest because it's the same place just 15 years later obviously like it's literally in the title i am so intrigued by that because the sims 4 has been out for such a long time which makes all of these characters feel really really stale and that's why i am obsessed with the idea of learning something that's just moved through time and it is updated for all of the packs up to tiny living i'm pretty sure uh yeah all packs slash expansions update to tiny living and it basically takes all of the families and moves them forward where are your favorite sims in 15 years the rocker family nina slash dina babe i can never remember the names of them i'm so sorry fake fan fake fan moved in with them they had a child the villa real family we're all growing up the pancakes clearly worked some emotional relationship out because they literally have four children three children now love it love to see it the richards family and each family has their own unique story what sold me on this save file i mean i was sold already Ready. do not get it wrong do not get it twisted what really sold me on this save file this picture a cemetery fucking love a cemetery honestly so i'm really excited to play with it if you don't know how to download a save file i'm going to show you today you click download on here it will take you to this place click download close this ad the download is starting and here it is in slot five if you already have a slot five you might need to change the name i'm going to see if i do right click copy it and then you go my documents electronic arts sims 4 saves and just paste it right in there i already have a save five so i'm going to rename it 85 we'll go with that one and then copy it again same location electronic arts the sims 4 saves and paste it in there let's load up the game i'm so excited to see this it's been so long since i delved into a save file i always forget as well like i keep thinking that i should probably download a save file and then i've already made my family in the house and everything and i can't be asked to move all of the tray files over so it's been a while since i delved into a, a save file very excited i'm very very excited also i heard someone ask in my recent video where i got the loading screen from i'm pretty sure it is this one on mod the sims by ahinana and it's custom color loading screen and there there are lots of colors i think i've got peach but yeah there's lots of different colors it, honestly if you just search sims 4 loading screen uh, like a lot will come up you can have so many different types of ones there's a bone hilda dancing one which i keep meaning to install but i keep forgetting so yeah that's where that is and when you load your game right 15 years in the future mine's right at the top yours might not be right at the top you might have to scroll down i remember like before i even had a youtube channel and everything I downloaded Lil Simsy's save file and he said, so frustrated because I was like, why is it working for everybody but me? But all I had to do was scroll down. 15 years in the future. Let's go. Ooh. So starting in San Michuno. Why did I pronounce it like that? San Michuno. I'm going to go Willow Creek first because Willow Creek is like my main place. I like that there's new buildings as well. I kind of just expected it to move the families onwards, but I like that it incorporates new buildings. I really want to check this out because I am a slag for a Queen Anne Victorian. Let me tell you. I fucking love a Victorian build. You don't really get the like grand victorian buildings that you do in america in the uk i would say a lot of our grand buildings are like commercial buildings oh she is stunning stunningly beautiful that's such a sneaky little place for the bin is this like i keep seeing things about homeowners associations which sounds stressful like are you just okay in america because that would be the most stressful thing well obviously not the most stressful. that would be a stressful thing absolutely stunning build love the layout of it i love checkerboard floors absolutely love it it's beautifully built it feels quite max as much as well that was the original recommendation for this i found this save file on tiktok because someone said that random chick has a save file that feels really max as match which also is something that i'm looking for i like to go a little bit out there in my save file but also i like builds that look like they belong if that makes sense and that this definitely is giving that vibe right a holiday summer do you just get married either that or sisters the bff household is like i'm obsessed with the bff household lily it's all i can think about but yeah i was really wondering where they'd end up because obviously they had a unique uh, situation really Ooh. oh daughter uh right 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 oh my god dawn Marcus? Summer, babe. No, you can do better than Dawn. Shit. Oh, I'm fucking hooked on this law. That dad is Jay Huntington the... Th you... Oh, my God. Yawning. 
Clara, Jay Huntington. You two were around the same age. Like, was this summer? Were you giving home wrecker in that situation, darling? Either way, I'll support you. You can do no wrong. Nice house. It does have that, like, that Max's match feel. Oh my God, even the tables are set. That's so cute. Let's go see the pancakes. That is intriguing to me. Like, where the fuck did they end up? How did they get to the situation that they are in now? Because that is not computing. Who are these? The heck? Oh my God, the hecking. The Villa Reels live over the road from us? Christ. I'm so good. I fucking love law. And I love seeing in sims through time i love it which is why the sims 4 being on an alternate timeline really upsets me because changing my routine like i like to see where the sims end up i just think it was a cop out to not have the sims 4 on a timeline oh my god this is a very pancakes household this is yeah this is giving me pancakes vibes so they're sleeping in the same bedroom again are there oh my god so we still don't really have wait oh, the drama is a drama of it all mick i just love it and they have a dog as well rook rip ziggy though i don't know what happened to ziggy uh because canonically they do have a child called ziggy i don't know if it was a purposeful touch but it must have been right for the extra bed unless this is don uh, not don fucking hell sorry bob i don't know what's worse being called bob or being called don lothario don did like childish things also maybe this is his room it could be like it yeah, it genuinely could be. This is without a doubt Eliza's though. Got that Eliza. Oh, oh my God, we have family photos. That is such a nice touch. Are you kidding me? Random chick 32. That is like the fact that it's not even just right now either. I don't know if the views cheat shop. Like, but like that attention to detail is absolutely stunning. Oh, Eliza and the baby. That is so cute. Are there any other little secrets around this house? Oh, here's one. Oh, darling. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Bob's bedroom then. Oh, and there's a family photo going up the stairs. That's cute. Yeah, I like to see where they ended up. The goths. Let's go see the goths. See, I don't get why they don't just partner up with other simmers for the refresh. Like, like I'm trying to vouch for Random Chick right now to be part of the refreshes because I just think it would be so much easier and it would make so much more sense to just like have simmers renovate them, maybe have a competition and just be like, yeah, we'll go with this one rather than like all of the processes of the refreshes because honestly, we're going to get like two refreshes by the time the Sims 5's out at this rate. You dead? No, he's not dead. Okay. Your wife is though. Maybe. Unless they broke up, they could have divorced. Honestly, getting abducted, that's got to be a hell of a amount of trauma. I can see why they struggled in their relationship after that. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so you're not dead, but where is your wife? Oh my God, you have beef with people. Alexander? Slay, honestly. Oh, Bella's dead. Death by fire? Damn. Honestly, girl couldn't catch a break. I want to find out where Alexander and Cassandra live. Oh my God, they really like the dr names. Alexandra. Cassandra. Alexander. And Cassandra. That's a nice name, Cassandra. I keep seeing TikToks of like names that would sound lovely if they didn't already have that association attached to them. And one of them was Chlamydia. And like, I agree, Chlamydia would be a beautiful name if it wasn't an STD. The Walsh family. That's who Mortimer's got beef with. Darling Walsh. Oh, look at them. They're older. Brant. Brant and Brent. Okay. <laughs> right. Oasis Springs. Let's go. Let's see the Calientes. Oh, no. So everyone else moved out and it's just Dina left here with a family. That's cute. I really like that they've all moved neighborhoods as well and they're not just in the exact same place. <gasps> Caliente. Oh my God, look at the fucking Katrina Caliente and the Princess Caliente. I've got to go see these. I got to do it to him. I got to do it to him. Oh my God, look at the house. I love it. I love it. This is exactly where I could see you being. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me. The fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, where did you end up? Married Mitchell Kalani. Wait, do we still have a... We have a slight relationship with Don. So who did he end up with? Guys, this is... Like, this exceeds my expectations. My expectations are already so high and excited but like the thought process that's went behind all of this what's happened to the land grabs where's johnny oh my god ancient rome bathhouse fucking love bathhouses in fact the people that work in the bathhouses um their skin was stained because of the what it was in the water like copper or something their skin used to get stained by it wow are you shitting my dick you've got a spa really oh my god and the terrace g fucking g what was that gen like i am actually this is really good <laughs> let's see how new crest is is doing oh the fires have moved in who are the scots travis scott who did you marry oh you married liberty and that you got with liberty in the end that's kind of cute actually that is kind of cute i see it i see it oh you know what i'm so happy oh i mean look at the size of the house i mean he's fucking rich anyway fucking party boy the pirate playground and park i just know it's going to be right up my alley it's going to remind me of flamingo land i just know it i just know it. anything with a pirate ship Flamingo Land to me. Splish Splash at Flamingo Land, which I actually recently found out was called Splish Splosh, which has changed my outlook on life. Oh, that is so cool. But it's even got like a... Oh my God, so you can put a little 
show on when we were kids we used to watch punch and judy like that was a, a puppet show i don't think punch and judy would fly now like it was kind of fucked up looking back but we used to go to the seaside and watch punch and judy which sounds so vit like sometimes i'm like oh my god no literally people only view england as being like the 1800s and then i go to the seaside and watch Punch and Judy, a puppet show, like doing very 1800s things. Like I see it sometimes, you know, I see it. Oh, they've got a little coffee house and a restaurant. Honestly, Magnolia Promenade, it has a lot of potential for me if you keep it as like the leisure center type of thing. The line, <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I wanted it to be Johnny's Zest. I'm so sorry for your family that they have to put up with you. That restaurant looks really fucking cool. That is some good work. Land grabs gift shop, that's so funny. Oh my God, the Pleasants live here. Oh my God, so that's where Nina lives. I like that she lives in like a little Nina's TLC apartment. I really like that arc for her. I hope that she's in love. Nina and Mitchell are both, well, let's say, let's... oh wait, no, maybe I don't love that arc for her. They spend a lot of time watching TV and sleeping. Nina has started inviting her friend Marcus over and even when Mitchell's at work. Oh my God, guys, no, I did that. Ah! Jeff spends a lot of time reading in his room or finishing homework to maintain his top grades. Jeff wants a puppy, but his mum and dad will most definitely not allow that. Could he maybe sneak in astray? Oh! <gasps> The law is intense. I'm fucking obsessed. Zest. Oh, Zest, I'm so happy that you... This means a lot to me, guys. This really does mean a lot to me. The family everyone wants. Johnny can't stop cracking dad jokes, being the comedian star he is. And he keeps the kids in line between working heavy hours and social media. Ashley and Chris are both gorgeous and loved by their classmates. Can this family get any more perfect? I'm so happy for you. That is exactly what you deserve, Johnny. I'm so happy for you. This is a place for you as well. You, be you belong in here. Oh, the ladies flat lilith livia kim lewis oh my god and you were you when you were a child this is so weird like you know when you see relatives and they're like oh my god i haven't seen you since you were a baby that's how i feel now looking at fucking olivia oh my god the broke family i love you angela and dustin no i'm just sorry i've just read the bio fuck dustin angela and dustin are a perfect match Dustin doesn't do much around the house to help, so she's cleaning or cooking. But that is okay because Angela loves cleaning and cooking. When Dustin gets in his hot-headed mood, Angela can cope well due to her good nature and love for art. If Dustin is in a bad mood, it's a great opportunity for Angela to pain. Talking about pain, Angela recent recently opened her own art studio slash store. Leave him! Good! Fuck Dustin! You deserve better, Angela! Angela, I will literally, I will fight in the trenches for you. This is, I mean, to be fair, is that how Brandy raised him? Brandy potentially killed husband, you know what I mean? So <laughs> maybe he hasn't had the best upbringing. The rocker. Wolfgang. Oh my God, Wolfgang Munch. <laughs> He's been spending his entire life working on being a famous musician. I love that for you. <laughs> That's really tickled me. That's really tickled me. It's up to Tiny Living. I can't remember which pack was out when Tiny Living came out. I want to say Realm of Magic was the last one. Oh my God, there's Angela's eyes studio good for you there's lots of retail things around which is really cool is that the graveyard also vlad is still around and kicking and then we've got victor's voodoo shop i want to see the graveyard i would like to see it i should have probably went in like first person <gasps> oh the coffin is this where the pictures are that a magical plant cute i mean it's the perfect location for a graveyard to be honest where is the photo that's cool i really like what they've done there i feel like tiny living was before eco lifestyle so i want to say that it's up to evergreen harbor but i don't know it also could not be you know <gasps> the vator oh grace you married caleb oh i love that for you i really do oh that's i fucking love that love 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 it that was i really recommend this save file oh my god i do think that it requires a lot of packs the tiny living i think which is the only drawback of but i mean if you have all the packs that's great if you don't like i'm sure that alone would be a couple of objects that you can replace or whatever i think it's worth the like the risk of having to replace objects to be honest because the law in this pack is so fantastic i really recommend it Random Chick 32 thank you so much for creating this. This is honestly, this has made me so happy and excited to play. Your work was absolutely incredible. I love law. I love law. And I love what you've done with the law. I'll leave the link to everything in the description as well in case you want to play it. And I'll also rewrite the rules of, not, not the rules, but like the instructions of how to install a SIV file in your game. So that is everything that I have for you today. Random Chick 32 thank you. Sorry, just hit the microphone. Random Chick 32 thank you. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.